Holy smokes! If you want to make interactive cards for a special grill master in your life, you are in the right place. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik, and I made a card with Amanda from Pure Pear Blossom Press in a class back in February and she used pieces from a new die set from Trinity Stamps that was coming out in May. I waited not so patiently and as soon as I saw it had been released I ordered the Backyard, backyard Barbecue die set and the Ungrillable un stamp set and this is the first card that I made. See, uh, isn't that cute with that barbecue grill and the, the sentiments? And then see how this opens to reveal a really funny sentiment under there from that stamp set? It's hard to say. You're ungrillable. You're ungrillable um, with holy smokes. I love it when stamp sets have a sense of humor to go with die sets. And um, again, this is a new one from Trinity Stamps. Um, all the links, of course, to all the blog posts with more details on the cards I share and the products featured are in the description box. So that's the first card I made. Um, I also got this free set of uh, cloud stencils in my package from Trinity Stamps. I actually got three free goodies in the package, which is really fun. So I used that little stencil to put those clouds in the background. Um, I was inspired by a card from a Trinity Stamps design team member to try a pull-up lid. So um, I designed this slim line with more of those funny stamps. You're not old. Pull here. You're well seasoned. Isn't that cute? I didn't have the dies from Trinity Stamps to do that slit in the back, but basically I just cut a slit and attached it and then um, was able to make, make a pull here for, the, for this. And then on the inside I put have a sizzling birthday with some more flames from the die set. So um, another really cool card that I was easy, made, was easy to make. Now I'm going to show you how to make a light up grill using a one light from Pear Blossom Press, which I learned how to do directly from Amanda, the owner of Pear Blossom Press. Now I was never able to figure out how to add lights to a card the old way with the positive and negative wires going all over the place, but these lights from Pear Blossom Press make it so easy. So here's a one light and I'm going to show you how to use that. Um, I had used the easy lights in the past from Pear Blossom Press and they had three little lights um, and that's easy to use too. But the one lights are even more simple. So um, here are the pieces of this die cut uh, die set that I have cut out um, in advance. There is a, a bottom piece and um, we cut out two of that, two of them, because the uh, battery is going to go on that. And you'll notice there's a little sponging of black around the red. I decided it had to look like it was a kind of a used grill and not a brand new one and I added a little black sponging on all the pieces. Um, then there is a cover that I cut out. I don't know if you can see the die set here. Cover. And then um, there are the legs. And then there's some trim pieces that we're going to put on. And I have some pop dots ready to go. Um, there's a couple flames that I cut out of a red vellum. And then um, these pieces were put together. Um, there's a large circle and a small circle. And you make the vent with one of them and you make the wheel piece um, with the other. And then I ha have a, a little push here a stamp from um, Lawn Fun. And I punched it out with a small circle and we're going to use that um, too. So. Um, 
the card front that I've created is just kind of a blue, it's not really sky, but it's kind of like a blue textured um, for that. And I put a strip of grass around, along the bottom. That's a Karen Berniston die. And then I um, added uh, the Holy Smokes here, and so that is um, ready to go. So um, I am going to take the grill pieces. Um, this is the bottom. And we are going to um, put, put this together. This is the piece that's going to get attached here. And then this is the cover piece that's going to cover the battery. So um, I have a couple glue dots here. Um, and I just decided it would be easiest to um, take these legs and just put a little glue dot here. If I can get it off the paper. I could use liquid glue for this part too, but I just decided to use glue dots for, for that. And then this is going to get attached to where the legs go. And this is the uh, uh, vent. And then this is the uh, leg uh, stand, I guess you could say. So, um, put that on with a glue dot also. And then we have um, the trim here. This We'll go along there. I'm going to use some glue for that. This is the top piece, so I'm going to put the um, trim on that one. And then the uh, handle. Um, is going to go on the top. I don't know, it's black on black, but um, it's, uh, I cut the handle and the trim out of black, so I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'll hold it up uh, once I get it on. So the handle is on the top there that's gonna you know pull the lid up and then I have a vent piece and I just use some silver mirror card to die cut um, that and the uh, wheel. So we have a red, back and black, and silver um, pieces. This is uh, the flames, and it um, they are cut out of vellum. Um, they don't have to be, but because we want the light to shine through, um, that's the best thing to use. So um, I have cut two pieces, and one of them gets flipped. Uh, doesn't have to be, but if you flip one and then you have the flames kind of going one way and the other. And then I'm going to put a little piece of score tape here. Uh, I 
and take the cover off. And then attach this flame. And then um, this is going to be attached to, let's think about this, this piece. Yes. Um, behind here. Right? So that piece is ready to go on my card front and we're going to attach it um, all the way to the bottom. And that's ready to go. Uh, <clears throat> now we're going to add the um, one light. Um, you can see that it has a battery pack when you originally get it. There's a strip in there that you pull out and then with this is pushed that light flashes. Okay so um, there is a piece of strong adhesive on the back here and we want to put it here on the grill um, so that the flame is up there. I think I needed to put the vellum on here, didn't I? Because you want this through the vellum. Let's think about that. Yep. Let me give that a fix. Okay, just a little mistake there. Not, not uh, a problem to fix. The flames are to go on the extra grill piece that is the top that's going to go on the battery and that way the light goes through the vellum. Um, so um, I was able to fix that easily and we'll move on to um, adding the battery. So um, as I pointed out um, there's a little button here that when you push it um, it goes off um, and there is a piece of strong two-sided um, red liner tape on the back here. And um, we're going to attach this in uh, on top of the bottom piece of the grill um, so that the light um, flashes by the vellum flames. And um, so it's just as easy as just attaching it there. And of course, once again, it's going to flash. And then on here, we need to add some thick foam. Um, I have the thicker pop dots that I'm going to use, or like two layers of mounting tape, depending on what you have. Um, and so I'm just going to use some thick pop dots there. And I'm going to add this top of the grill to cover that. And when I push right towards the bottom here, the light will flash. Okay, so I have um, that button that I created that says push here. And you're just going to figure out where, you, where that little uh, piece is that you push and put that there so they know where to push and then I have added some more of those uh, thicker pop dots to the lid that was prepared um, so that it's the same height as this so I'm going to add this to the top of 
the card. Oh, well, it would help if I took those sticky parts, I mean the covers off, right? You want it um, open slightly um, so they can see the vellum flames, um, but it's an A2 sized card, so I can't go too high. So um, when they push, the flames are going to light up. Isn't that cool? So I am going to add that card front. To the card base. And the card is done. Holy smokes! Push here, open it up, have a sizzling birthday. Wow, isn't that fun? Any guy would love to get this light up grill card or the other two interactive grill cards I shared using this awesome die and stamp set from Trinity Stamps. Watch the next video for more interactive card tutorials and then send some of your handmade joy out into this world.